If you think that all things continue as they were, then it is past time that you wake up and cry out to God for discernment, for we are surely living in a dark and an evil hour. It is written, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Every evil under the sun is manifest through these people. They are totally and completely lawless. They are the enemies of God, vile, wicked, depraved, evil things are being called good, and God's laws and everything good and pure is being called evil. As it is written, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. As I have mentioned before, Satan knows that he has but a short time to do what he has been appointed to do and to reap the souls that have been marked for destruction. I tell you, saints of God, Satan and his puppets are growing bolder by the minute. We can see the corruption and destruction of nations, not only Syria, but Germany, Sweden, now England, and America, and Australia, at least those of us who have eyes to see and ears to hear can. Yet many are in denial, welcoming refugees who are bent on conquest into their land. They have no clue to the evil they are inviting in. They pay no heed at all to what is occurring in Europe, for God has blinded them, lest they see and hear and repent. We can see the enemies of God on the march to conquer in the name of their God, who, by the way, unlike the Pope and Rick Warren tell you, is not the same God that we serve. This is a great deception being perpetrated upon the Christians. Jesus is not just another prophet. Jesus is not Satan's brother. Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. He died once for all. He does not die over and over again, manifesting himself in a communion wafer as he is betrayed by the Roman Catholic Church. Those who believe such things are unbelievers and we are not to be joined together with unbelievers it is written be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness and what concord hath christ with belial or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Concord means agreement, union between persons, harmony. We cannot unify with unbelievers who do not teach the truth. The truth of God has to be the foundation for true unity. All these persons are unbelievers, for only such persons would yoke themselves together with the workers of iniquity and of darkness, and conspire together to deceive the sheep. Great blindness is upon the land and upon the thing calling itself the church. There is great corruption and deception within the organized church system. It is filled with people who are seemingly without true godly discernment. This is not the day and hour to be without discernment.
If you have depended on your pastor or priest to interpret the word of God for you all your life, and you have not sought God for yourself and read his word, asking the Holy Spirit to help you to understand it, you are in trouble and need to repent. For if you truly loved God and sought him with all your heart, mind and soul, you would not be living in deception, but you would be walking in the spirit and in truth. You would not have surrounded yourself with those who tell you good things, who puff you up, who tell you that you are a king's kid and you deserve only the best the world has to offer and you will see no suffering. You have sat under greedy, wicked shepherds upon whom the judgment of God is falling. Soon you will see them all join together in one accord with Satan himself, forever sealing their own fate. For gross darkness is on the face of the earth, and gross darkness is upon all people, for none have sought God. Instead, they have justified themselves and their doings, even from the prophet to the priest, from the pastor to the preacher. Such ministers do not care for your souls. I'm going to step out on a limb here and tell you that you are being used, you are being fleeced, and any that have a donate button on their website, flee them also, because to them you are food. For it is written, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more. For I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. Yes, this group of scriptures is referring to God's nation of Israel. But saints, we are the body of Jesus Christ, and God has had enough of the wicked growing fatter and fatter on the backs of his sheep and he is about to bring judgment upon them and their ministries for all their abominations done before him, for they have yielded their vessels over to Satan for the destruction of the church. These are amongst those who will be responsible for the death of the true saints of God, thinking that they are doing God a service thinking they are getting rid of dissenters, infidels, unbelievers, troublemakers, haters. As it is written, These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. In fact, it is the Muslims who are slaughtering Christians and Jews all over the earth today, believing they are doing their God a service by getting rid of infidels, when it is they who are the infidels doing the bidding of the Lord of Darkness. The Pope has been witness to the deaths of thousands of Roman Catholics across the globe. Yet he insists on appeasing the terrorists and forcing refugees upon the world. This man is a henchman of Satan. 
He has no love for those who bow down to him. Any who tell you that you need to unify with the Roman Catholic Church are liars and deceivers who have been deceived because they have no true love of the truth. Any who tell you in America that Donald Trump is your hope are deceived. Any who tell you America can be great again are deceived and deceiving and do not understand the hour in which they are living. Wake up, people. Seek God with all your hearts before it is too late.